Megan Powell, high school, um, around 90. Marching band, concert band, jazz band, music appreciation, homeroom lessons, and music theory. What were the goals of your project's lessons? Um, when I started, the goal was I just really want to travel everywhere I can. I want to meet as many um, new people as possible. I want to learn as much as possible about other cultures. So when asked about it, I thought, what a great experience to bring that in to my own interpretation, but also my students. What have you learned about yourself through your involvement in the Access Collective? Um, I thought I was very prepared to start this process because of my beliefs and personal experiences. Um, I learned, however, that I make a lot of mistakes. And um, just at times you say things that are uncomfortable and even um, not meaning to be insensitive, but I also learned that um, when I did those things, I apologized um, to my students and they are very um, willing to accept and to move on as long as I owned up like, oh, that wasn't the right thing to say or how to phrase it. Let's uh, rework that. So. What changes have you made in your teaching from year one through year three? I definitely make more of an effort to talk about the connections of the music and their composers. Um, I always try to select music, at least on one of the songs that will really speak to students based on their backgrounds or based on their interest or expose them to something different that we don't have in rural Iowa or that we don't see every day or hear every day in rural Iowa. What have been the biggest takeaway or aha moments throughout the process? Um, one of the ones but is that living in Iowa, we currently have legislation on what we can teach, how to teach it, and I was very nervous at first. Um, I didn't want to say the wrong thing or offend anyone, but I really embraced Mary's statement from the beginning. Um, it's not political, and I tried to create opportunities for students to use their imagination, identify with their culture, explore uh, maybe one of their friends' culture. Um, and because of those opportunities, I learned a lot about what was important to my students in my class. Um, students pick topics ranging from social anxiety, creativity, race, religion, peace, um, all sorts of things that they identified with and it was um, very impactful. How have you grown as a teacher? Um, we definitely have um, I definitely have um, become closer to my students and um, learn things that maybe um, I didn't know about them or their own families or their own traditions or um, things they're interested in. I also have grown by being a mentor with Aris. If you know Aris, um, she's constantly saying or posting quotes or positive um, little bits on Facebook or when we talked, um, I would be struggling with a certain situation and she would make me feel um, better immediately. She would really be like, okay, this is, this is normal um, and this is what I would do or maybe think about it this way and she's been very impactful on my teaching. Where do you take what you have experienced? Um, in the beginning, I was very specific about the steps I wanted to take um, and I had a process for everything. I kind of planned out how I was going to roll it out to my students. Um, and um, slowly it's just becoming the way, my way of teaching. Um, I still, uh, we still discuss things and we have open conversations, but um, it, it's just kind of what we do at Sioux Center. Any other thoughts you would like to share? I would like to thank the um, formerly IDEA program um, and Mary Crandall for all her leadership and guidance and the entire team just for the conversations we've had and um, support we've had through that program. So thank you.